Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and I think this week I'll continue on with our fan theme from last week and talk about direct drive versus belt drive fans. In a direct drive fan, the motor connects directly to the fan wheel or prop and rotates or drives the wheel directly. So it kind of looks like this. Let's draw a blower. And then let's draw in a wheel and put in a motor and then the shaft that goes into the wheel and let's draw the rest of the wheel in the actual fan blades. Okay, so it looks something like this. As the motor rotates, it drives the fan. In a belt driven fan, the motor isn't mounted directly to the wheel. It's connected through pulleys and belts. So let's draw another blower. Let's put in a wheel. This is the fan shaft and a pulley on this end. We'll draw a pulley connected to a motor on this end and it's sitting on some sort of base. And then connecting the two is a belt. Okay, let me label some of this. So these are your motors. And then on the belt drive, you have a pulley on the fan and a pulley on the motor. And then you have a belt that connects the two pulleys. So when the motor rotates, it drives the pulley on the fan, which rotates the fan. So it would seem like there are so many extra parts to the belt driven fan. Why would you want this over a direct drive fan? Let's make a little room and let's look at the advantages and disadvantages of the two. The direct drive fan has fewer components, so that's fewer components to fail, and that's a good thing. And it's also more efficient because the motor is connected directly to the wheel. So there really aren't any losses between the motor and the wheel. This is probably the biggest benefit to a direct drive fan. Let me draw a line to separate these two. On the downside, the fan can only turn the same speed as the motor. So to increase or reduce the airflow, you have to change the speed of the fan. This is exactly what you're doing when you use an SCR or a PWM on a fan powered thermal unit. For the belt drive fan, it has more parts, which means there's more to fail and there's more losses. So that also means that they tend to be less efficient because there's going to be some amount of loss from the belt slipping on the pulley, especially if the belt is not tensioned correctly. But you get a lot of flexibility in how fast your fan rotates and therefore how much airflow you get because you can change the pulley size to change the fan speed. Okay, let's move this up and make a little bit more room. In a belt drive fan, the motor is outside of the airstream. So this is good if you have applications where you don't want the motor in the airstream, like high temperature applications or contaminated air applications. Also, larger fans typically run at lower speeds, which you can achieve with the pulleys whereas lower RPM motors might be more expensive or the motor just can't be turned down that far. So that's a quick look at the pros and cons of direct drive and belt drive fans. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for taking a time out with us.